Good evening and welcome to Prophetic News Tonight. In this special edition, we are featuring three prophetic words from around the world. Let's watch the first one now. Hear the word of the Lord as I speak to you in these days of unfolding prophecy. The times we are living in are not ordinary, nor are they random. They are filled with signs and signals ordained by the Most High to awaken those who have ears to hear and eyes to see. The Lord says, The earth is groaning and the signs are all around you. What you see in the natural world, earthquakes, storms, fires, and floods are not just random acts of nature, but are indicators of a greater spiritual reality. The creation itself is groaning, longing for the revealing of the sons and daughters of God. These signs are my wake-up call to the nations, a call to repentance and to return to me. Look at the nations, how they rage and plot in vain. There is a spirit of lawlessness that has been unleashed, causing division, confusion, and rebellion. This is a sign of the times, a reflection of the war being waged in the spiritual realm. The forces of darkness are pushing against the light, but know this. The darkness will not overcome it. My light will shine all the brighter in the midst of this darkness, and my truth will prevail. You see the rise of deception, where truth is twisted and lies are embraced. This too is a sign of the times. Many will fall away, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. The spirit of Antichrist is already at work, preparing the way for greater deception. But my people, do not be afraid. I have given you my spirit, the spirit of truth, who will guide you into all truth. Cling to my word, for it is your anchor in these turbulent times. The increase of knowledge, the speed at which information travels, and the advancements in technology are also signs. But be warned, not all advancements are of me. The enemy seeks to use these tools to manipulate, control, and deceive. Discernment is needed now more than ever. Pray for wisdom, and I will give it to you. Guard your hearts and minds, for the days are evil. The breakdown of family, the confusion of identity, and the moral decay you witness are signs that the enemy is attacking the very foundations of what I have established. He knows his time is short and is seeking to destroy what is good, what is holy. But I am raising up a remnant, a people who will stand firm on my truth, who will not bow to the pressures of this age. You are called to be that remnant, to be holy as I am holy, to shine as lights in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation. Do not be surprised by the persecution that is rising against my people. It is a sign that the world is rejecting me, just as it rejected my son. But take heart, for I have overcome the world. The persecution will purify my church, separating the wheat from the chaff and strengthening those who remain faithful. I am also shaking the systems of this world, economic, political, and religious. What you see as instability is my hand at work, shaking what can be shaken so that only what is unshakable remains. I am preparing my church for what is to come, for there is a great harvest yet to be brought in. But my people must be ready, must be watchful, and must be rooted in me. These are the days that the prophets spoke of, days of both great tribulation and great glory. The world is being prepared for my return, but before that day comes there will be trials, there will be testing. Stand firm, for the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. I am calling my people to wake up, to rise up, and to be the voice of truth in this generation. The time is short and the days are urgent. Do not be caught unaware. The signs are all around you, pointing to my soon return. Be ready, be vigilant, and keep your lamps burning. For the day of the Lord is near, and it will come like a thief in the night for those who are not prepared. But for you who are awake, who are watching, it will be a day of great rejoicing. For you will see the fulfillment of my promises, the culmination of all things. Therefore, encourage one another with these words, and strengthen your hearts, for I am coming soon. This is the word of the Lord. We received this special prophetic word from a viewer regarding the month of September. Blessings, blessings to you all. 
I have a word to release for the month of September, and I am so excited about this word. Let me tell you, God has said that September will be a month of full recovery, complete and total restoration. I want to share with you how this word came to me today. I went out for my usual run and walk, getting my exercise. And as I was on my way back, jogging along, I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. I got, after being out for over 30 minutes, just looking forward to getting home, I tripped and fell down on the road. I tripped in a pothole. Now, you know the feeling, or hopefully you don't. But I went right over on my ankle, and I knew right then, uh-oh, I've injured myself. I had to get up, and somehow I managed to do so. Then I limped back home, still half a mile away. I was like, Lord, help me, Jesus. I need a supernatural healing right this very minute. And that's when God spoke to me. There is going to be a full recovery. Thank you, Jesus. That is how the word came to me. Full and total recovery. I'm talking about a comprehensive package, a detailed recovery in various areas of your life where you need it most. You will recover what was lost, you will recover what was stolen, and you will recover what is broken down. I'm talking about health being restored, financial recovery, and the recovery of your dreams. Glory be to God. God said that everything is going to be all right. You will have a full recovery. Can someone say amen with me right here today? I'm going to prophesy this over you for the month of September. Thank you, Jesus. God said he's going to start you off on the right foot. Yes, you heard me correctly. Start you off on the right foot for the month of September. As you know, I love the scriptures, so I went into the word where David had been defeated and all their possessions, wives, and children had been carted off by the enemy. But God gave David a word in 1 Samuel 38. David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And the Lord answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them. Now let me prophesy that over you right now. I don't know what the enemy has tried to throw at you, but you will surely overtake them. And God said, Without fail, you will recover it all. Glory be to God. I just want to release this word over you. Let me break this down because the Spirit of the Living God began to illuminate this to my mind and my very inner being about what kind of recovery this is going to be in September. People, God loves you. Your Father is going to give back what the enemy has stolen. Number one, there is going to be a reaping of your harvest. Thank you, Jesus. A gathering in a single season, a stockpile, a storehouse being filled. You're going to stock up, build up, count up, and gather up. You will see a total and full recovery, and all the seed you've sown is coming up in abundance in Jesus' name. Heaped up blessings. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is speaking to you, beloved. Thank you, Jesus. Number two, there has been intense warfare. I don't even have to explain that because those of you who need to hear this word already know what I'm talking about. There have been all kinds of attacks, but God is saying this is because of the birthing of new things that is coming in the month of September. Right before Jesus was born, right before Moses was born, there were serious attacks trying to prevent those births. But the Lord is saying nothing is going to stop what he is birthing in your life this coming month. I am decreeing and declaring the birthing of new ministries, new businesses, new partnerships, new networks, new dreams, new ventures, even new geographical locations. A new level over you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. God says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And the Lord says, I am bringing a new beginning to you in September. But not only am I the beginning, I am the end too. And here's the third thing the Lord highlighted to me. I am going to end demonic cycles of limitation. I am going to end demonic attacks and onslaughts. I am going to bring an end to some of the warfare that you have been experiencing. God says, your enemies do not control your future. Let me repeat that. God says, your enemies do not control your future. Beloved child of God, sons and daughters of the Most High, the devil does not determine your future. God is bringing an end to some satanic cycles. There was a day when they left Egypt and God says, I'm bringing an end to that Pharaoh spirit trying to put you in bondage in the name of Jesus. You are coming out of those demonic cycles, the Jezebel spirit, the Saul spirit, the spirit of Leviathan in the name of Jesus. They are broken off of you right now. You will enter into September with the end of these satanic cycles and the Lord says, I am breaking off limitation. 
I'm ending wicked, evil cycles. Thank you, Jesus. I just feel such life coming into my spirit right now. I believe my ankle is getting healed right now in Jesus' name. Touch and agree with me, okay? Touch and agree with me that I will have a supernatural healing and will not be limping tomorrow morning when I wake up. Thank you, Jesus. My God is my healer. He is the great physician, so I know he is already healing this leg. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Finally, God says, I am going to bring you some compensation. Thank you, Jesus. Compensation, vindication, payback, retribution, divine retribution, and divine justice. You will regain, recover, restore, and I'm talking about total, extensive, God-sized recovery. I decree and declare it over you for the month of September, God-sized recovery because it's a new season. September is a fresh, new season. The Alpha and the Omega, God said total recovery. September will be a month of full and total recovery because the Father loves you and wants to take you into a whole new world. He says, I am going to do something that is out of this world. Thank you, Jesus. I praise you, Lord. I touch and agree with each and every person who is hearing and receiving this word as a prophetic declaration over their life for the month of September. It's going to start something that will get the ball rolling in your life. I pray that you're blessed by this word. I want to thank you so much for your prayers, for covering me in prayer, and for being so supportive and loving towards me. Thank you so much for sowing. I declare a harvest over you in Jesus' name. Those of you who have felt led by the Holy Spirit to sow into the words that are being released here, to sow into this ministry that God has given me. This is for his glory, the glory of the one true King, Jesus, our King and our Redeemer. He is our Restorer, the one who is going to cause you to recover it all. I love you so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now. The tables are turning, says the Lord. Today marks the beginning of a powerful reversal like never before. The enemy cannot comprehend the magnitude of this divine shift. A rapid and miraculous turnaround is happening, and it will be as if overnight your circumstances have been transformed. Reversals are already in progress, and God is preparing to unleash marvelous wonders in your life. Settlements, establishments, and mighty miracles are breaking out. Your future is secured. Your life is blessed. And you will witness the powerful hand of God dismantling every scheme and plot of the enemy. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every power of witchcraft, jealousy, and darkness is broken and reversed in the name of Jesus. The python spirit that has constricted your life is being sent back to the sender. This is the season of ultimate freedom and divine breakthrough. The Lord is breaking every diabolical altar and the tables of Jezebel are being shattered. No longer will these altars stand, for God is eradicating every evil scheme that has come against you. Today, the Lord is reversing every controlling spirit, every spirit of sickness, poverty, lack, and abandonment. In the name of Jesus, what was meant for your destruction is being turned around for your good. The pattern of loss, stealing, and manipulation is broken. God is bringing a major turnaround, releasing you into freedom and liberation. This is the season of rapid reversal, where what once seemed impossible is being made possible by the hand of God. The Lord is bringing financial breakthroughs, healing, and restoration. Even the most stubborn situations are being overturned. God is changing the course of your life, establishing you in a season of abundance, prosperity, and peace. The Lord is with you, leading you into a victorious procession. He is dismantling every work of the enemy, and you are being elevated into a place of honor and favor. Marvelous wonders are about to manifest in every area of your life. Long-term illnesses, depression, and negative reports are being reversed in the name of Jesus. 
The Lord is bringing clarity, removing the fog of confusion, and establishing you in a place of certainty and peace. For those struggling with transportation, God is providing the means to move forward. No longer will you be stagnant, for a supernatural anointing for a transition is coming upon you. Some of you will experience a physical move for divine purposes as God positions you for greater impact in His kingdom. The Lord is healing every area of pain, loneliness, and loss in your life. He is bringing restoration and fulfillment where there was once despair. The enemy's plans have been dismantled and the Lord is fortifying your borders, strengthening you for the season ahead. This is the time to stand firm in faith, for the Lord is about to do extraordinary things in your life. Every curse is being reversed and blessings are being released in abundance. God is making a way in the wilderness, turning your dry places into a flourishing garden. Prepare for the rapid reversal that is coming, for the Lord is with you and for you. Nothing can stand against the power of His name. This is the season of elevation where you will see the hand of God move mightily in your life. The Lord is bringing supernatural breakthroughs and you are about to step into the fullness of His promises. May you be blessed as you walk in this season of divine reversal. Marvelous things are coming your way. Be ready to receive them. Amen and amen. Thank you for tuning in to Prophetic News tonight. We hope you subscribe to stay updated on new prophetic content. Thank you and good night.